Hello everyone, it's Alina. Welcome to my Soap General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. General Hospital spoilers state that Cyrus Renault is determined to build a meaningful familial connection with Laura Collins, but she's still apprehensive of him due to his tragic history. Cyrus' religious platitudes aren't enough to totally convince Laura that he's a changed man, but she's at least open to giving him an opportunity to prove himself. We also know Cyrus bonded with Spencer Cassidine a bit when they were at Pentonville together. Spencer even accepted the turtle doves Cyrus offered as a gift for Trina and gave her one that she still cherishes close to her heart. As for Spencer's own turtle dove, it was sighted washing up to beach someplace after his river tumble. Since those turtle doves are emblematic of Trina and Spencer's relationship, it might be noteworthy that Cyrus originally handed them over. What if Cyrus ultimately presents a rescued Spencer to Trina too? After all, Cyrus feels that he owes Trina for the anguish of his past deeds and already volunteered his services. Cyrus stressed that if Trina ever needed anything, all she had to do was ask. It's possible there will be some moment down the line when Cyrus is the only one who trusts Trina's intuition that Spencer is alive. Perhaps Spencer will manage to convey a secret message to Trina, or maybe she'll just feel their connection rise back up somewhere deep in her soul. Regardless, Trina might get desperate enough to approach Cyrus for assistance, depending on what kind of help she needs. That's especially true if everyone else starts encouraging Trina to disregard her intuition and accept that Spencer's gone for good. Then again, Cyrus might unearth evidence that Spencer is potentially still alive and save him from whatever mess he's landed in on his own. If there's another GH villain holding Spencer hostage like Victor Cassidine, Cyrus might find a way to liberate him and give Trina the shock of her life. If Cyrus is the one to save Spencer, that would undoubtedly be enough to redeem him in Laura's eyes. Cyrus hinted about Spencer's demise perhaps leading to a new beginning, and it indeed may if he demonstrates that demise didn't stick and brings Spencer home. Of course, Cyrus can never be entirely trusted, so we wouldn't put it past him to already have Spencer stashed in a coma somewhere, only hoping that he can get him well enough for a comeback. In that case, Cyrus might be remaining quiet until he knows for certain whether Spencer will come through. Cyrus made sure comatose Nicholas Cassidane had his own shot to recover, thus this may be a like-father, like-son scenario. However, Cyrus would be taking a great risk by keeping Spencer's survival a secret. For Cyrus to have a meaningful route to redemption, GH writers may want to avoid all the shady conduct for once. No matter how things play out, it's easy to see Cyrus being the one to pull off a Spencer shocker. General Hospital spoilers predict Cyrus will keep out hope when it comes to changing thoughts of him, so stay tuned for updates on any important Spencer news and how it could affect Cyrus' strategy. General Hospital spoilers state that the mystery of who targeted Sonny Corinthus is deepening. Someone who knew Sonny's full system was able to target him in Puerto Rico, so he's on high alert regarding a traitor within his organization. However, the individual who betrayed Sonny doesn't have to be someone who's currently working for Sonny or even someone who's worked for him in the past. Could this be a circumstance where Jason's memories have been entrusted to someone else? After all, GH writers have done that storyline previously with Drew Kane, who still maintains Jason's memories to this day. Drew can't be ruled out as the guy who's been going after Sonny if he's still being influenced through his old programming and doesn't realize it. That said, there's another intriguing alternative that's worth considering over. What if Danny Morgan is being trained to effectively be the next Jason Morgan and work for the enemy? It might be noteworthy that Danny was wrapped up with Charlotte Cassidine's buddy group when she had those tarot cards. It opens the door to some mind control that Danny might not even be aware of. Charlotte worked well as Victor Cassidine's little minion for a while, so maybe Danny is next up for a plot where he's spreading mayhem. Back when all the Charlotte and Anna Devane craziness blew out, Danny felt he could have done something to help. It led to Sam McCall's potentially telling comment about Danny reminding her of Jason. If a villain, like a secretly alive Victor Cassidine, for example, wants to start over with a younger, brand new version of Jason, it makes sense to program his son. Could Danny have a tarot card that controls him and effectively turns him like Jason? If Danny was memory mapped and programmed off screen, he might have instances where he goes into stone cold mode and later snaps out of it. 
During the week of February 12 to 16, Sam McCall and Dante Falconeri will discover that Danny is facing some sort of problem. Danny will land in some problems right before some alarming news is disclosed. And soon after, Alexis Davis will comfort Sam as Dante, Anna, and Jordan Ashford plan a strategy. Of course, there's no confirmation on how all that will go down, but it's fascinating that Danny has a problem that'll erupt immediately before all this PCP activity is happening. It'd be a terrific tale if Jason is stuck in captivity and had to break out to come interfere with Danny down the road. Jason might be the only one who can break whatever spell Danny's presumably under. Could Danny have been the one who fired at Curtis Ashford and the one who went after Sonny on his island? Since Danny has been off-screen so much, it's plausible he's been utilized as some type of Jason 2.0 experiment behind Sam and Don's back, even if Danny doesn't understand it while he's not active. Regardless, General Hospital spoilers claim Danny has some drama coming up, so stay tuned for updates on the mayhem that's lurking. General Hospital spoilers tell that we've got some coming and goings news to cover, so let's dive in. For openers, we should mention a recent comeback that delighted fans and warmed the heart of a returning cast member. William Lipton returned his role as Cameron Weber for Spencer Cassadine's memorial, which offered Cam an opportunity to say farewell and touch up with some familiar faces. Many viewers contacted out to Lipton to tell how delighted they were to have him back in the role of Cameron, so he was affected by the very positive response. Lipton was happy to see his former co-stars, so he addressed that and all the fan hype in a beautiful message. To say that I was happy to see my GH family would be an understatement. Lipton stated on X, the social media program formerly known as Twitter. Huge thanks for all your lovely comments. In other comings and goings news, we're getting closer to the long-awaited return of Jason Morgan. Burton recently had his first day back on set and confirmed that his on-screen homecoming air date will be March 4. In the meanwhile, it appears like Jason's son will get back in the fight. Danny Morgan will land in some problems during the week of February 12 to 16, so Dant Falconeri and Sam McCall will confront a dilemma. Stephen A. Smith has been portraying Brick a bit more often lately, so watch for Brick to continuing playing a critical role in the Dex Heller drama that's about to explode up. Once Brick finishes sharing his concerns about Dex's dodgy offshore account and all his dishonesty, Sonny will take Dex out to the Pine Barrens to make some unsettling warnings. There's also a romance potentially budding between Brick and Jordan Ashford, so Brick should have more scenes coming up with her shortly. Frank Leon will reprise his role as Frank to help Sonny deal with Dex as well, so he'll show Dex that Sonny means business. As for Nicholas Cassadine, what does the future hold for the character now that he's given himself in for keeping Esmond Prince captive? Time will tell, but Cyrus Reynald will take steps to protect Nicholas and will send updates on his plans to Laura Collins in the following episodes. General Hospital spoilers claim Nicholas may manage to get off the hook eventually, but Laura and Kevin Collins should look after Ace Cassadine until then, and that implies Ace is sticking around. That's it for comings and goings news, but fans will want to stop by regularly for all the latest updates. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please click like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.